Okay, random AP pre-calc problem from section 1.3, a portion of this graph right here. It's a quadratic function, as you can see, is shown below. On the interval 6, 10, which is 2, 4, between, I know the numbers are hard to see, 6, 10, uh, the function g has an average rate of change two times its average rate of change on interval 2, 4. Okay, so here's 2, 4. And I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see to okay, so here we are. So I don't even know what it's gonna be asked. I'm just zooming in. Hopefully my screen adapts well to this. This average rate of change that I have here in red is going to be two times the average rate of change in blue. Now I could do the f of b minus f of a formula to do the average rate of change, but I've done that in several other videos. I'm not gonna do that here. I'm gonna make life easier. Average rate of change is just fancy talk for slope. So the slope of this blue line is going to be, you know what, this, since I don't even have a nice graph, I might as well just do it. Um, F of B, <laughs> it's, I feel wrong doing it, but I'm doing it. F of B minus F of A over B minus A. So it would be something like 12 minus six. Okay, so like it looks like I would go up six over two. So I'm just actually gonna do that, up six over two. That's what it looks like. So the slope is three, yippee. 12 minus six is six, four minus two is two. The average rate of change is three, okay, boom. Now, <clears throat> the red guy is supposed to be two times that. And if you're like, well, why can't I just do the same thing that you did for blue? Well, because that's a C right there. So I don't know what C is, and I have a feeling that's what I'm supposed to do. What I do know is I know that the average rate of change for uh, red is supposed to be two times blue, which means the average rate of change is going to be six. So if I have, uh, let's do this. Let's actually set the whole thing up. I'm gonna have fun with this. C minus 22, I'm using this formula right here because I have a feeling that I'm supposed to do uh, find C. Yep, find the value of C there. It says right there. So I'm gonna zoom up again so I can have everything in front of me. I'm supposed to find C. So there's other ways that you could do this. I'm just gonna whip out the old formula again, okay? F of B minus F of A. I don't know why I put, yeah, that looks like a C. F of B minus F of A over B minus A. So C minus 22 over 10 minus six is supposed to be six, okay? C minus 22, no clue. But it's gonna be over four and it's gonna equal six. Multiply both sides by four. Good old algebra one. C minus 22, the Taylor Swift special equals 24. Let's add 22. And 22 plus 24, and let me write it big out here so when I zoom out I can see it, is gonna be 46. C equals 46, so let me zoom back out, get everything on the screen. C is 46, find the value of C, 46 right there. <laughs> 46 right there. Yeah, kind of a weird problem, very weird indeed. This is the way I did it though, and there's probably other ways that you can do it, but this one would be considered on the difficult side, I suppose.